back again with Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders Episode 4. And these guys really aren't wasting any time with the action and the fights. I mean, this episode we had an entire fight plus the intro to another fight. You know, so in terms of pacing, this show is going really well. And uh, let me just get into this. So, pretty much, you have, you know, the squad they're on a plane heading to Egypt. And then they start scrapping with this random, you know, uh, standing user who's sent by deal to kill him. For fights like this to happen this early into the series, I mean, just shows you, you know, how regretful Dio is from how he lost to Jonathan Joestar within the first arc of the show. I mean, he wants to get rid of the Joestar line. He respects them now. He knows that they are too much for him. And as long as they are alive, he has absolutely no chance of accomplishing his goals. So he's going through all these links, all these measures, sending multiple stand users. You know, you had Kakyoin at first. You had that stag dealer user guy who was on the plane. And now you have this new guy in the episode who introduces himself. So, you know, Dio really isn't wasting any time. And he wants Jotaro and Joseph's head. And he wants to get rid of them as soon as possible. Pacing is one thing that I gotta stress people. I mean, I love the pacing that they're going at. Obviously, because the show is only slated for about 26 episodes, and their entire this entire arc is about 170-ish, 8-ish chapters. So, of course, they're gonna make the action come as fast, clear as possible. So now it's just a matter of terms of ma matter of animation and hype. And in terms of animation, this show has done a really good job. You know, with just this little fight that was on the plane, you know, it just looked amazing. It looked, you know, when Kakyo and did his hair from green and whatnot. The quality of that was really top notch. And the studio is doing a really good job of animating Joe's Bizarre Adventure. And also, not censoring anything out. You know, they have blood flying everywhere. They have tongues being shish kebabbed and skewered. You know, and that's exactly what I like about Joe's Bizarre Adventure. You know, and the studio that has, you know, decided to animate this, you know, they're not wasting any time. They want to animate it, you know, tick for tack straight from the manga, which is exactly what I enjoy.